Yes, you know, I mean, it depends on, you know, the best level. You, know, you, you got to go when you, when you work on Pops Records. You know what I'm saying? I'll say that it was it was a wonderful experience. I mean, it's like it took me, you know, same thing. it took me, I want to say it took me about a couple of months to listen to all the records to, to us to pick the, the songs that were actually on the album. It took me like eight days to make mm. So it was a process, you know. And, uh, but, I think the craziest thing about it is that, you know, the, um, it, it's the relevance, it's the relevance of him never left. You know what I mean? When we did the record, it never left. Bombfirst.com. Like, after those years or, or, you know, everything was talking about was still relevant to what was going on at that time. Probably still relevant mm-hmm. to what's going on today, you know. So, I mean, it definitely was an honor, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was good. I mean, you know, we, we came together, you know, we, we came together. And, and for me, it was special for me because I was my friend, you know, my partner for life. And, you know, I mean, it was great. I mean, until the end of time, until the end of time, the hardest thing about the end of time was putting all those songs together as far as, like, yeah. picking them. Once right. we did it, once we had the songs, it was like, you know, it was like a cost of living, basically. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. people. Well, I think, well, I think, you know, like, like, well, I think when they, when they hired me to be music supervisor, I just went in and said, I want to, I want to, I want to pick the songs that is like he's here. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, right. I know Pac will want to do this record. You know what I mean? So that was my whole basis. So any song that I, any song that I like, any song that I pick is because of how he looked at it, you know? So when I when I when I go in and do records, when I went in and do records like that, I was like, you know, I want to make it to be like it's right now, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't want to make it seem like okay, this is some old dated stuff. I want to make it seem like he here right now, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that I mean, that's the only thing that the only thing I, I think is it's funny because we weren't even going to be on the project. Like that's what wasn't even going to be on it. And I think and Edie when it convinced Vince uh, Interscope and his mom to have somebody music supervisor that really cared and that really knew what Pac would want and they picked me. So, mm. and I already, you know, I already hit, you know, when, when I got asked to do it, I was like, shoot, I'm just going to do it like Pac would do it. I'm going to pick all the records that I think he would want to do. I'm, I'm going to get behind it like as if he was living. I'm not just going to go in here and be work for hire, you know, and I think right. that just was my attitude, my man. I just think my attitude towards it was what made that record work for him. Well, well, he did, no, he did that record. I mean, it was already a record that was done already. Bombfirst.com. You know, we just mixed it. We just mixed it. That's all. It was already done. 